Really? Yeah, my name is Sally. Her name is what, Sally? Sally, yeah. Wow. Sally. Okay. So she's down with you in Virginia? She's here. She's in Virginia. She's my friend. Wow. So, Sally, how are you? I'm fine, sir, but the rest of the world, I'm fine. That's fine. Good. How about you? I'm fine, too. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much for your prayers for my sister. She told me all about you. Thank you so much. May God continue to you, sister. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You're welcome. You're welcome. She's a, she's a good girl. She works really hard, you know. She works hard, and uh, my, my job is to make sure that uh, she continues to do good forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how it is. So, welcome, Sally. Thank you. Victoria, do you want to welcome Sally to our miss this morning? Yes. Welcome to the family. We're glad that you have come to share your life with us. As we grow in love and may we always be for you. For God would have us be a family always there. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Is there anyone on the line this morning who has a concern, who has um, who has something to share, a prayer request? Good morning. Good morning. Who am I talking to? Wow, V, how are you, man? I am good. Awesome. You've, you've gone. Florida people have spoiled you so much. Look at you. Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. Spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> they spoil you. Spoil you rotten. And now you are back, smiling, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was that was so good. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> tell your tell your is that your brother in law that if he has time we can call me this morning. I'm in the office. Um, I'll be in the office okay. here like five o'clock central time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember to Thank say hello to the remember to say hello to your boys uh, when they come around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and my daughter, my daughter, my oldest daughter, Angel, she's mm -hmm. having a baptism tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, we'll pray. We'll pray for her. We'll we'll remember her in prayer. We'll remember her in prayer. That would be nice. Wow! 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 Yeah. Wow! Wow! That's interesting. Yep. This morning, I want to tell you. A story about one of my greatest hunters in the world. It's not an animal, it's a, a bird. Um, people talk about the wise old owl. The owls is among, if not the best hunter in the world. I mean, I will say second to the mongers. Second to the mongers. I will talk about the mongers some days. The, um, is that the weavers? Yeah, the, um, 
all those big big rodents they are they are i have seen a mongoose kill a python some of the snakes that we fear so much mongoose take them down those are great hunters i mean we flee from snakes like mambas and the brown snake or the, the python the anaconda the this the that all those most poisonous snakes mongoose they, they take them down and they include them in their in their menu for the day i'm serious i will talk about them as an analogy but this morning i'm 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 sharing about um about um, the owls so that whatever you have discovered about yourself whatever you discovered about yourself it's one thing for me to to teach from the bible or to minister from this bible during yesterday night we kick off the the birthday the appreciation the ordination um um i want to use this three days to to share to share some things that possibly is going to shape your future you see um there is the difference between an eagle and an owl is when the eagle is hunting you can hear the sound of an eagle its prey could easily know that the eagle is around but when an owl is on the hunt its prey doesn't even know that it's coming it's silent it is silent the reason is because the owl has soft feathers it has soft feathers and there is one important thing you need to know about you see i want you to spend time to know what sense you see we have the, the uh, five senses know which one is the one that is connected with your major gifts your major talent please people have got to remember that this uh, broadcast is also live streamed on Ustream on high definition you can watch it um I, I want to stop here to appreciate somebody that is very dear to me there is a lady in illinois whose name is lizzie this lady has been very very kind and good to me um she is a woman from india but she is extremely extraordinary lady extraordinary so i want to see this opportunity to thank her for um her love and her kindness to me on my birthday i am very very appreciative of this woman all right let me share this with you when you look at the eye of an owl it has a big eye uh, please if you are doing something can you mute your phone if you are walking around or you are too close to your phone can you mute it so that the rest of us do not hear what you are doing the, uh, the eyes of an owl is not just an eye it is also a satellite a satellite it's a satellite dish
excuse me. Hello? Thank you. Um, we are on a conference right now. Call me back after the conference. Thank you. The eyes of an owl are really big. It's huge. But it is not just an eye. It is a satellite dish also. The greatest weapon of the owl is its ability to focus, to concentrate. It has one of the strongest ability to focus on a target without missing that target. There could be a thousand trees blocking, blocking its path but it knows how to focus on the prey and go through the obstacles. In fact, there have been experiments that I've, I've seen on TV of different obstacles put against an owl and it still finds its way through those obstacles to what? To the prey. Seriously, to the prey. And that is phenomenal. That is amazing. What the Holy Spirit taught me from the life of ours is this. Never lose sight of your target. Do not lose sight of your target. You see, let me, uh, Geneva, I think you are taking note this morning. Please take, take, take note. I know that it's a very boring job. Never lose sight of your target. And what I mean by that is, do not lose sight of your goal. What is your goal in life? You see, plans can change, but goals should not change. If a goal is to buy a house or build a house, buy a car or, or so, debt free, cash, then that should be the goal. You can have different plans towards the goal so plans can change please write this down plans can change but goals determined goals should not change plans lead to fulfilling a goal not vice versa the reason why a lot of people fail in what they try to do in life is they, they think that plan is goal, and goal is plan. No. A goal is quite different from plans. The plan should lead to fulfilling a goal, having something. Creating something, achieving something, that's a goal. So many people have different plans that never result in any goal. So they talk about the constantly. That's why people who like to have meetings all the time, they're boring. I don't like it. I don't like people who constantly are having meetings for this, meeting for that, this, that. I don't like it. I like somebody to take charge. For a goal to be achieved, somebody must take charge of something. 
and give orders and commands. Where you see strong leadership and rulership, you see goals achieved. The owl knows, you see, for some for some people, for for, for some people, this might be you that I might be talking about here. One obstacle you give up. If because of other people, what they say, what they've done, obstacles in life, somebody died in their family, it is this, that, you give up the pursuit of a goal, then you are a weak minded human being. If something happened that you cannot fulfill a goal, then find other plans to reach that goal. Don't say that because plan A did not work, so because of it, you give up. Some people go for a job interview because they didn't accept it in that job, they give up. Others try to start a business and that particular business did not work, they give up. Is that the only business in the world? No, it's not. Others run into businesses that they have no business being involved. They don't have the, they think that because some other people are making money in it, that it automatically means that they themselves are able to make money in it. That's wrong. It does not mean that because somebody else is making money from this, you are able to make money from that. Are you qualified for that? It's just like a lot of people want to get involved into ministry because they think it's an easy way out to make money or things like that. Or write a book. It's not. Is that what you're passionate about? If, if, if you don't have the technical skill, if you also do not have the inside stuff, what I call the inside stuff means what is natural to you. If you don't have it, number three, if you do not have the passion for it, why go into it? Why? Why do you want to waste your time on something that you are not passionate about? If you are not crazy about something, why, why go into it? You see, a lot of people have a lot of stuff. Road littered with unfinished business. Unfinished business. Unfinished marriages, unfinished raising kids, unfinished school, unfinished business, unfinished careers. When is it going to end? The owl start out and finish its business. It targets one thing and doesn't allow anything to allow it to deviate from from its way. Never will it allow it. Then why why will you allow anything to stop you? Why do you want to allow anybody to stop you? Nobody can stop your progress unless you want them to stop it. Only you can stop your progress. Not even the devil is allowed to stop your journey on the earth. To stop your progress. Not even the devil. I'm serious. So, if you stop achieving things on the earth, then, I don't know. I don't know. 
I have deep within me the different things I want to do in a, a month's time, a year time, a week time, daily. I can sit down and look at the thing and decide how I want things to be changed. How I want things to be. Within my financial means and within my technical capabilities. And that's as a result of sitting down to think, to imagine, to create with my mind. And then you create it physically. There is a place where you wait for God to give you money. There is a place where you go. You go out there to the world to look for what you want. And employ your gift to get what you want. What we should be asking God is, we should be asking the Holy Spirit to fill us with supernatural intelligence to be able to know where to employ ourselves and employ our gifts and target it only and not deviate from the target. In fact, when an owl is coming, when an owl is coming down to catch his prey, the prey doesn't even know. The prey does not know until maybe the last minute, the last few seconds, that's when it knows. And then it's too late. Done deal. I just want you to be aware of this. What I learned from the life of ours is how to go about quietly achieving your goals. There are some goals that are going to require other people to help you. There are some goals that you alone are going to do. Jesus did not require other people to help him go on the cross or to go to the world of the dead and the, and the living who were waiting to be, to, be, to be set free so that they can leave paradise and enter into heaven. On Good Friday, he didn't require anybody. He went on his own. Decision is going to be required of you for you to be able to do what you're going to do in life. And leave a mark here. If all you just want to do here is get married, have children, buy, and get out, then history, you will just be among the statistics and history will never know anything about it. Your job should be to make history, not just to teach history or to recite history of other people. What's your goal? Write out the things you want to achieve. If you don't achieve them at that time, work on it until you achieve it. And then you can go to something else, to another goal, until you finish it. Dearest Holy Spirit, do not allow obstacle to stop us. Do not allow obstacles from stopping us from achieving our goals in life and the goals that you've given to us to achieve. And our own personal decisions. We ask you this morning that you will create in us such a force as the owl has to target something and pursue it and not deviate because of obstacles or anything. And how to move gently and silently and achieve our goals without disturbing anyone or anyone disturbing us. Without listening to the crowd out there. 
We ask you to fill us with supernatural ability to do this. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen and amen. Now before amen. before we, we yeah, before we stop this morning, let me ask you what have you learned this morning? Remember, there's just one thing. For the owl, his greatest sense is the eye to focus and not deviate. Focus on your goal. Focus on your goal. That's it. Don't lose your sight. Don't lose. Remember that because it's before you go around it and there you ask go. the Holy Spirit to give you supernatural ability. There you go. You remember what? Right. You remember what God said to Joshua? Said, "Do not look to your left, to your right. Just go straight." Yes. Okay. See, don't yes. allow anything. Don't allow. In fact, I will go as far as saying, don't allow the past, your past, to stop you from your future. Please write that down. Yes. Do not allow your past to stop you from your future. Do not allow it. Do not allow, especially a lot of people fall a prey to relationship. When a relationship did not work hard, uh, did not work out, there was a divorce or there was a problem, and they, it become the point of stopping. They stop. And they stay crying over that one thing for a long time. I don't know why a human being does that. I have no, I've never done that in my life. Never. Because when I read the Bible, I realize that's not how that's not how it's supposed to be. If anything doesn't work out, go for what will work out. Please write that down. Write that down for me. If anything doesn't work out, go for what will work out. For some people, they stay there and cry. Oh, they devoted their life, their money, their days, their that. Okay, do you want to die? Do you want to die? They live in regret. For a long time, they can't come out of it. And it is one of the greatest, it's one of the greatest force that the devil will use against you. It's if you live that kind of lifestyle. I'm serious. If, if all you do is grieve the past, instead of seeing it as an opportunity for you to be free to pursue your destiny. I'm serious. What we think is a crisis is not a crisis. It is God allowing you to make better decisions, not to rush into anything in life. But for some people, you tell them about this, oh, they're quiet, they say, oh, you don't understand, even, oh, you. How much consolation are you going to have before you know that it's about time for you to move on? That your survival is most important than anything else. But for some people, they will never get over it. It becomes, in fact, for some people, it is what now gives them energy. It is now what informs their lifestyle. Is the mistake, is the problem, is what other people did against them, becomes what they recite to, to, to have sympathy. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for what anybody has done to me or against me. I will never. Reason, I have a future to pursue and I must. And my future has started already. I'm not waiting. Amen. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting to meet my future. In fact, let me tell you something. Neither is my future coming to meet me. I am the one that rushed towards it. If you allow your future to come to meet you, you're in big trouble. Please write that down. 
If you allow your future to come to meet you, you are in big trouble. You should obey the one that goes towards your future. Then you are in charge. If you allow your future to be in charge, then you will be surprised at the end of the day that it was others who were in charge of it for you. That's true. That's true. So don't wait for your future to come to meet you. It will not be a good marriage. It will be a disaster. Because you will not be prepared for what the future brings to you. So when the future see you coming to it already armed with what you want, then the future will make way for you. All right. So I will see you guys by 9 p.m. tonight, Central Time. Remember that if you have not yet donated to the birthday or to the appreciation um, day that started yesterday, please go immediately and do that. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.